Hello again. I dare say that most viewers will know that Israel and Iran are mortal enemies. They will know too that Iran finances and arms both Hezbollah in Lebanon and Hamas in Gaza. To say nothing of the Houthis in Yemen. Following a missile attack a few days ago on the town of Kiryat Shmona in the Galil, the Israelis blew up a building next to the Iranian embassy in Damascus. Because of this, Iran is now preparing an attack of its own. They'll probably wait until the end of Ramadan early next week before launching their response, which is likely to be ferocious. This will probably trigger a terrible retaliation by Israel for the simple reason that they are itching for an excuse to attack certain targets in Iran itself. Iran is on the verge of building a nuclear weapon and that is something which neither Israel nor America will allow. The Israelis have a large stock of nuclear weapons of their own. The Israeli nuclear arsenal currently consists of just under 300 warheads. They're fitted to surface-to-surface -surface missiles such as uh, the Jericho 2. They've got free fall bombs, submarine launch, cruise missile, mines and of course artillery shells. These weapons are stored <coughs> at the Alabon base in the Galil and also at Tel Nof fighter base in the south. The Iranian facilities where they are refining uranium and bringing it up to weapons grade are hidden deep beneath mountains and it would be almost impossible to destroy them with conventional weaponry, which is probably where the Israeli nuclear weapons are going to come in. I mention all this because Israel long ago swore that they would never allow Iran to have a nuclear weapon. It would be an existential threat to the state of Israel. If Iran attacks Israel next week, then a war will begin, during the course of which Israel will attack and disable Iran's nuclear facilities. Britain is almost itself at war with Iran because of course we are using naval forces and the RAF to counter the firing of missiles by the Houthis in uh, Yemen against vessels in the Red Sea. Iran supplies those missiles and also has soldiers in Yemen helping them use the things. If a war involving Iran starts, we will certainly be drawn in. I have an idea that the thinking in Israel is probably along the lines of, well, we're hugely unpopular in the world at the moment, and so we might as well simply get this business over and done with now by provoking Iran into attacking us and then taking out their nuclear facilities when we respond. Obviously, that would also mean a war with Hezbollah on the northern front, but it won't be the first time that Israel has been fighting on two or three fronts simultaneously. One remembers both the Yom Kippur War and also the Six-Day War in 1967. The message is, get ready for some serious fighting and be prepared for Britain's armed forces to become even more heavily involved in the Middle East than they already are.